This is going to be our fifth day in the Lionsgate Portal Transmission Series. So this is the fifth transmission out of eight total. And if you are just joining us, welcome. You can go to the previous transmissions or you can always start here. And for those who have been doing this every day and leaving your experiences in the comments, it's so cool to read. So thank you for sharing. I haven't had a chance to respond, but I've been reading them and, and just blown away at everything that you all are experiencing with these. So thank you for joining in on these transmissions. For today, I was very strongly guided to do an ancestral clearing and healing. And so that's what this transmission is going to be focused around. So just sit or lie down, begin to relax, breathe deeply, and of the transmissions we've done so far, this one is probably going to be um, the deepest healing that we've done because we're not only healing you and where you are right now, but we're going back through your lineage. And so... Often we have some patterns that we, no matter how hard we try to transcend, it's like we can't completely transcend them. And the guidance that I got is what we are doing now is not transcending them for ourselves, but we are being asked to heal them in our ancestry. And so if there has been something that you've really been trying to push through and you feel like you have cut cords with it or you've cleared the karma and you, you understand it on a logical level, but it's still something you're facing or something you are battling with. Uh, the messages that I'm getting is most likely it has something to do with an ancestral healing that needs to be done. And if you don't know of anything on the top of your head that you would like to heal, that's fine. You don't need to. So just continue to relax. We're going to start the transmission now. I'm not going to talk much through this. It's going to be probably about five minutes of just pure healing energy. So just breathe. Completely open up. Allowing yourself to receive this transmission, this healing, through your ancestral lineage on the deepest level possible. And this transmission is one that you can come back to and you can listen to again and again until you feel the healing is complete. And if there are any passed on loved ones that you want to call in, I feel like they are surrounding you now. Your team of guides, your ancestors, calling them all in now. And you are the vessel for this transmission, and you are the channel for this transmission. And through you, you are healing your entire lineage, your entire ancestry. And so thank you for being this vessel. Continue to breathe. Continue to allow. Whatever comes up for you is appropriate. Allow whatever comes up to be there, letting go of all resistance. This may bring up emotions, some emotions that you don't know where they came from, that's normal too. Let those be there if they arise. I'm getting the message this transmission may also help with any karmas that you are holding on to, anything from your past lives, healing it all, clearing it all.
breathing deeply as we go deeper and deeper down your lineage, targeting all energies at the point of their very creation and transmuting those that need healed, that do not serve you. All the way back to the point where your lineage very first began. Continuing to breathe, I'm going to start grounding in this healing into your present being right here, right now. And just like in past um, transmissions, I pulled a card, and you seriously can't make this up, right? The card that I pulled was Keepers of the Earth, You Are Not Alone, Ancient Ancestors Stand Beside You. I couldn't even make that up if I tried. I want to read from the book as I continue to ground in this healing. So again, the card is Keepers of the Earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You are so supported. You do not stand alone. You have a magnificent team of helpers, both in this world and of the Earth, who are here to help you every step of the way. Call upon them for assistance. They are here to help. The keepers of the earth acknowledge the work that you have done already and are ready to work through you. They bow at your feet and thank you for wanting to stand for them, to devote your life to protecting the earth in your unique way. It is time to increase your capacity to receive support in the physical realm. This can come in the form of financial abundance, acts of service from strangers, or people flocking to help you and your work. The only thing that is stopping you right now is your capacity to receive support. You deserve to be rewarded for the work that you are doing. You do not need to go at it alone. Call upon the keepers of the earth to help you and your mission. Open your heart and your mind to receiving more than you ever thought possible. What kind of support do you need right now? Bring this to the top of your mind. What support do you need right now? And we are calling this in right away. And so the book gives an affirmation. I want you to just repeat this after me. I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my life. I am open to receiving a whole new level of support for my work. And I call it in now. And so just in your mind's eye, list any specific requests for support that you have here. Financial, love related, whatever you need right now, call it in. You're receiving it now, call it in, request it. Don't hold back, don't be shy. You deserve it all, you deserve the support. And repeat, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. I will talk with you tomorrow.